State Street Theater is proud to present The Adventures of the Thin Man, The Case of the Goofy Groom, starring Kent Menzo as the clever Nick Charles. Trenny Fields as the beautiful Mrs. Nora Charles. Jordan Fields as Bingo Burns, a right number. Shailene Kaluski as the stunning bride Jane. Nick Blank as our devilishly handsome but clueless groom Arthur. Jennifer Hughes as Honeymoon Haley. Georgie the Germ. Played by Christian Hannell. And Vanessa Lofton as Snaky Simone Stacy. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to bear witness of the union. Uh, when do we kiss the bride? When the ceremony's over, silly. Oh. You know they always mumble all the words in their beards. Well, the minister doesn't like to remind people of the rash promises they made when they got married. Oh, look, Jane's trembling. I know. Poor girl. She's probably crying. What for? For the same reason that every bride cries. They weep for all of the men they have to give up, Boon. Oh, but you didn't cry. I meant to, but I was too busy. I was trying to get the Justice of the Peace to remember all of his lines. Well, you knew them better than he did. <laughs> well... I wanted to make sure that we were thoroughly married. You, husband and wife. Oh. Yeah, dear. Hey, what, no, no, don't I kiss the bride? Not yet. Oh. Arthur told me to meet him in the side room just, just after the ceremony. Why? Well, I, I don't know, but he did say it was important. Open the door. Well, all I can say is that this is no way to treat a wedding guest. Um, there's no one here. Here they come, darling. Nora! All right, there. I want to wish you and Jane every happiness. Why, thank you, Nora. Oh, now, best of luck, Arthur, and uh, oh, <laughs> may I? You mean Jane? I'd be very disappointed if you didn't. Well, what are you waiting for, Nick? Jane, you know I wish you the very best. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't have to wish quite so hard, Nicky. Oh, I didn't mind it, Nora. You've got a fine wife here, Arthur. And that's the opinion of an excellent judge of wives, Arthur. But aren't we keeping you from your other guests? I'm sure the rest of them would like to congratulate you and Jane. Well, that's just it, Nora. Arthur's afraid to go out there. Oh, well, you can't disappoint the girls, Arthur. You don't understand. We're having some trouble. Really? What's the matter? Well, we don't know. Arthur, tell them. Nick, will you and Nora take our place tonight? It will be better all around. But why? I'm not sure I under... Ah! Oh, yeah. oh, hey. oh. oh, queer kind of rice they have at this wedding. Hey, those shots came from back there. Someone put a gun through the door and fired. Oh. Did you see him? Well, no, uh, my back was toward him. Well, I'm going to open the door and take a look. 
Where does that lead? Uh, to the hotel corridor. Whoever fired those shots is gone by now. Oh. <laughs> oh, now, hey, 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 take it easy, Jane. Uh, shots don't mean a thing if they don't hit you. Uh, I'm so frightened. This has been going on ever since we've been married. But Jane, you've only been married for a few minutes. That's not entirely true. Um, we were secretly married two weeks ago. Oh, you jumped the gun. We just went through this to satisfy relatives and friends. But from the day after our marriage, someone has been trying to kill us. Now, darling, don't let it upset you. You can only die once. I mean, Nick and Nora will help us, won't you? Well, where were these murder attempts made? Well, the first one was in our room in a small hotel in New Jersey. Uh, the second night we were married. Uh, there were two more attempts in a small hotel in Vermont. It's awful. You've got to help us, Nora. But why would anyone want to kill you, Arthur? I don't know. Perhaps it has something to do with all the money Dad left me. You know, I came into my estate the day I was married. I think someone is trying to terrorize me. Extort money or something. Well, did you inherit a lot of money? Well, quite a bit. What kind of honeymoon can we have if we're always afraid of being killed? I want a live, living husband for my honeymoon. <laughs> there, there, turtle dove. Nora will help keep me alive. Nick, I've worked out a plan. Oh, uh, yes? For this honeymoon, you be me. Beginning right now. Uh, what? Nora can put on Jane's bridal veil over her face and rush out. You can turn up your collar and if no one sees how old you are, you can pass for me. And Nora can pass for me. We reserve the honeymoon suite at the Gilded Towers Hotel. You two take the suite and we will take your apartment. Then you can be killed instead of us. Oh, well, you know, Jane, I don't like being killed. <laughs> oh, but Arthur says you've done it so often. Of course he has. And we'll find out who's been trying to harm you. I think it's a grand idea. But I think we ought to change clothes to complete the deception. All right. Uh, the boys can go behind that screen. Great. Come along, Nick. Well, you know, I'm not so sure I'm going to like this. Here's the key to our apartment, Jane. And here's my bridal veil. My dress, it zips up the side. Do you think I'll make a good wife for Arthur? Oh, of course you will. Are you ready, dear? I am almost. I'm uh, uh, ready now. Keep your eyes closed, darling. If the gunman's in the crowd, he's sure to follow us. That'll make it easier to capture him. Nora, I'm not so sure I can fool anyone into thinking I'm a bridegroom. Why, darling. And Arthur, Jane, you'd better slip out the side corridor. All right. Nora. And thanks a million. Come on, Jane. Oh, oh Nikki, you do look just like a bridegroom. How do you manage it? <laughs> well, I thought of the right thing to keep in my mind, I guess. <laughs> and what's that? The mental picture of a murderer I know walking down the last mile to the electric chair. Come on, dear.
the bridal suite is down the hall, Mr. and Mrs. Hornsby. Thank you. Come, my caveman. Oh, uh, yes, honey bun. Say, <clears throat> aren't you supposed to blush a little, dear? I've been trying all evening. Oh, well, choke a little. That'll make you blush. Uh, <clears throat> all right. How's that? Uh, no good. I hope this bellhop doesn't get too suspicious. Here we are. Uh, <clears throat> come in, uh, Sugarfoot. All right. Oh, good gracious. Aren't you going to carry the bride across the threshold? What kind of a bridegroom are you anyway? Oh, I, I forgot. <laughs> well, it doesn't do to forget such things. But if you forget anything else, I'll remind you. Really? Yes. I know all about being a groom and what a bride should do. How interesting. How many times have you been a bride? Well, never. But I've seen so many couples. You see, the hotel assigns me to take care of the bridal suite. I've made a study of honeymooners. Well, what's your name? They call me Honeymoon Haley. Well, come on now, let's get started. Carry the bride across the threshold. Okay, buttercup, here, up, there, uh, there. <laughs> you seem like a pretty weak groom to me. Well, put her down and kiss her. I'll draw the shades. Never mind. Madam, are you going to tell me what to do? I know more about these things than you do. The shades will be drawn. <clears throat> there. Well, um, where's your luggage? Oh, uh, our bags will arrive later. Later? Good gracious. Going on a honeymoon without luggage. I think I'll give you a lecture on... Oh, no, never mind. Here now, just, just leave us alone. <laughs> Well, now you're talking more like a honeymooner. But uh, I usually leave people alone for a bigger tip. Don't you have something else to do? That's how a man celebrating his 20th anniversary talks. You want to let me give you a few tips on how a groom is supposed to behave? Uh, I'll tell him. Miss Honeymoon Haley, are we keeping you? Okay, I can take a hint. Well, folks. <clears throat> If there's anything you want, anything I can do for you, any errands you want done, any advice, any information. Don't worry, we'll call on you. Well, you better not, because I won't tell you a thing, Mr. and Mrs. Know-it-all. Good night. Uh, we didn't seem to fool her. <laughs> no, I wonder what she did before she was a bellhop. Oh, darling. Hey, what are we gonna do about clothes? We'll phone our apartment and have Arthur and Jane send some over in the morning. Did did anyone follow us in here? Well, I, I didn't notice anyone. How do you like the way I look in Jane's bridal gown? <laughs> well, you look blooming, dear. Especially since it's a little tight on you. <laughs> it is not. Are you trying to tell me I'm not as slim and girlish as Jane? Oh, no, darling. I'm trying to tell you Jane is not as charming and attractive as you are, dear. <laughs> Why, Nikki? You make me feel like a real bride again. Come here. What for? Do as I tell you and stop acting like a husband. I wish I could. <laughs> what do you want, baby? Yes, this silly. Oh, hold me tight, Nora, and... And don't take your lips away. Darling, at least you're a groom. I am not. I'm just being sensible. We're in danger. What do you mean? Well, the connecting door to the next room is opening. We're being watched by someone. I want to surprise them. I get it. You think it's the gunman who's after Arthur? Well, maybe. I can see the glint of a gun. In the crack of the door? Hey, now, which hip do you prefer to land on? Uh, the right. The left still bruised from last week. Okay. Now, if the shooting starts, I'm going to push you over. Stay on the floor while I try to rush the gunman. And then if... Oh, no! Oh! Oh! 
I'm going after him, baby. Hey, hey, come back here. Nikki. Oh, come in the adjoining room, darling. I got him, baby, but I need some help. I I'm coming, darling. Oh, but it's dark in here. Where are you, Nick? Well, wrestling on the floor. Hey, turn on the light switch and, and get out of the way of the bullets. Oh, oh. Uh, well, uh, here's the light switch. Nick, stop wrestling with that girl and oh. someone your own size. Let go of my hand. You'll break in my wrist. Well, drop that gun and I'll let go. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, now... Get up. Who's the tomato? Hey, that's my wife. Do you train him to go around torturing girls? Listen, who are you and hey, what's your name? Bingo Burns, what's yours? Uh, Nick Charles. Hey, how'd you get the name of Bingo? They call me Bingo because I'm a right number. <sighs> Why'd you try to kill us? Because I made a mistake. I thought you were two other people. Look, pal, give me back my gun and we'll call the whole thing off and forget about it. Why do you want the gun? So you can kill someone else? Nat. A woman? How'd you guess? Hmm, and would her name be Jane Hornsby? You know too much or I'm getting out of here. Oh, hey, hey, come back here. Hey, Nora, <laughs> Nora, stop her. Oh, nice work, Nora. How'd you do? <laughs> I I tripped her. Cute little number, isn't she? <laughs> Bingo. And now, act two of tonight's Thin Man Adventure. Nick and Nora, posing as newlyweds, have just captured Bingo, a cute little number, who tried to shoot them full of holes. Nora examines her as she comes out of her daze and tells Nick. She looks good on the floor. Come on, Bingo. Get up. Don't try to get away again. All right, listen. Are you Nick the Dick? Well, yes. I heard you're a right guy. I didn't mean to kill you. Honest, I didn't. Did you mean to kill Jane Hornsby? I knew a woman would understand. Yeah, see, I'm honest, I confess. Why did you want to murder her? I got a very good reason. I don't like her. She stole Arthur, the little crook. Was Arthur engaged to you? Well, I didn't get around to proposing to him, but we were crazy about each other till she came along. <sighs> I guess I must be nuts about him. All I want to do is kill her. I love him so. Hey, hey, wait, hey, wait. Were you at the wedding today? Yeah. I came disguised as a debutante. Well, did you try to murder her there, too? Murder a girl at her wedding? What kind of character do you think I am? Well, did someone try to kill her? Yes. Oh, goody. I bet I know who it is. Snaky Simone Stacy. Well, who's Snakey Simone? A snake in a skirt. Uh, I met her when I used to do my specialty in the cabaret. She's a gambler who hisses like a snake when she talks. And she's a friend of that Jane. She's no Lily, she ain't. What are you talking about? Snakey Simone. I saw her at the wedding. And I saw her talking to Jane in that hotel in Jersey where they got secretly married. Oh, so then you've been following Arthur around? Like a dog. I love him. <laughs> like a dog. Well, why should Jane be talking to this snaky Simone? For some sinister reason, I bet. Well, I'd like to get a hold of this snaky Simone. Well, I'll show you where she lives. Oh, not yet. First, we're going to check with Arthur on this story you've given us. Nora, phone our apartment. All right, dear. <clears throat> okay, Bingo. Now, who are you working with? What are you talking about? Well, what's your racket? Who's in it? Come on, spill. 
I got nothing to spill but tears. You've got a deep misunderstanding of me. I'm just a poor, hard-working chorus girl who wants a millionaire. But not for the money, mind you. For love. Hello? Hello? Nora? Yes, Arthur. Oh, Nora, I was just going to phone you. Something terrible has happened. What? Jane's disappeared. Are you sure? I was down went downstairs for a second, and when I got back, she was gone. I know what the racket is now. I know why they terrorized me. They kidnapped Jane. You stay right there, Arthur. We'll be right over. All right, Nora. I feel terrible. Goodbye. Goodbye. Nick, Jane's gone. Arthur said she was kidnapped. Oh, well... Okay, baby. Um, you go over there and, and tell Arthur about Bingo. Where are you going? Well, to find Snaky Simone. I've got a good idea she'll know where Jane is. Come on, Bingo. Nope. Oh, but Jane's been kidnapped. They might even kill her. Do you think Arthur's going to like it if you behave like this? <sighs> All right. For the sake of the man I love, I will rescue the tomato I hate. Leave us to part. I guess Snaky Simone isn't home. Oh, hey, wait a second, Bingo. I hear someone coming. Yes? Hello, Snaky Simone. Hello, Bingo. Who's your friend? The name's Nick Charles. Can I come in? You can, but you can't. Well, why not? Because you ain't welcome. You see the low kind of snake she is? I know who you are, Charles. What do you want with me? Well, I want Jane Hornsby. Never heard of her. Now scram. <laughs> Yes, she was shot from the back. Grandma, she's toppling forward. Whoa, 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 whoa. I got her. I got her, but hey, I can't hold her. Oh, hey, hey, bingo, pull her off of me. Oh, no, I won't touch her. She's all full of blood. Well, now so am I now. I mean, come on, she's all dead weight. Hey, pull her away. Come on. Is she dead? Yes. Then I won't touch her. It's bad luck. Oh, geez, there. Maybe I, maybe I can squeeze out here. You're doing all right. Yeah, you've been a big help. Don't mention it. Hey, the killer may still be inside. Hey, come on in. If the killer's still there, I'm staying right here in the doorway. Oh, it's all right, Bingo. Whoever shot her in the back. Escape through the servant's entrance. Oh, well, you better drag her in. Oh, okay. Oh, geez, there. Oh, well, I didn't expect this. Well, I didn't do it. I was with you every minute. I'm innocent. Absolutely, positively as innocent as a baby. Innocent, innocent, innocent. Yeah, well, who said you weren't? Do you think she kidnapped Jane? Oh, she must have been working with someone. What? Do not disturb yourself. I will answer. Hello? Hello, Chicklet. Hey, how was our little investment? Oh, I'm fine. No, oh, give me that phone, Bingo. Here. Uh, 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 hello? Hello. Hey, Snakey, is that you? Uh, yes. Uh, it's me. Who's this? Well, it's Georgie the Gem. I hear you got the investment there. Uh, yes. Well, then ask her when we're going to get our dividends. Dividends? You know what I'm talking about. What's the matter with you, Snakey? Sound queer. Oh, I, I got some people here. Uh, uh, where can I see you? My hotel? Oh, 
Wait for me. Goodbye. Toodaloo. <sighs> Say, what are you doing with the corpse, Nick? Uh, going through her pockets. Huh. Their money-making angles to this detective racket I never even thought of. Do I get a cut? <clears throat> Look, here's her in address book. Uh, I'm just looking up the address of a, of a character named... Georgie the Germ. Oh, yeah. Uh, this must be it. Hotel Chandelier. Ah, oh, that place. You gotta have a police record pool that even lets you register. Uh, come on, Bingo. We're going to see him. What for? Well, we might find Jane there. I hope she ain't dead. Nick, that, that man called me an investment. Is that an insult? No, Bingo. I think that's the key to this whole mess. Remind me to call Nora from the lobby of the chandelier. Nora, we should have heard from Jane by this time. Or at least we should have heard from the kidnappers. I'm sure Nick will find her, Arthur. I can't believe that Bingo got mixed up in all this. She's a good kid at heart. What a thing to happen on a guy's second wedding night. I'll take that, Arthur. Hello? Uh, hey, Nora, baby. Is Arthur okay? Yes. Oh, Snakey's been murdered. Listen, meet us in room 788 of the Hotel Chandelier. Get there as, as fast as you can. All right, dear. Shall I bring Arthur? Uh, yes. Goodbye. Goodbye. Come on, Arthur. We're going out. No, I, I, I can't leave here. The kidnappers may contact me. Oh, oh but that's the intermediary. Arthur! Oh, Jane, darling. Oh, my little fruit fly. Oh, they, they were horrible, but they got scared and let me go. Oh, Arthur! Arthur, uh, Jane? We've got to go meet Nick. Stop kissing and start breathing, or you'll both suffocate. Arthur! We don't need Nick now. Um, just close the door when you go out. Oh, my little gumdrop. My tooty fruity. My neck. Goodbye. Hey, I don't know who killed Snakey. And what's more, I don't like you bringing any of your high class germs into my hotel suite. Hey, listen, George. I want to know who's the investment. I am the strong, silent type. Especially silent. Hey, don't touch that glass. Oh, I was just looking at it. Well, you're going to get it all full of germs. Oh, so that's why they call you uh, Georgie the Germ. Hey, hey, I don't let my friends call me that. Hey, now, what kind of a deal were you in with Snakey? Stop asking so many questions. I, I ain't telling you nothing. And you can't prove nothing on me. I have not only kept my nose clean, I am antiseptic. Yeah. Nikki, I rushed over here. Oh, hello, darling. Whew. Here. Mm. Whoa, don't you kiss her, you dope. What? You never can tell what you'll catch. Nora, this character here is uh, Georgie the Germ. A little crazy. Hey, I am not. And what's more, you don't understand about germs. Don't you ever kiss girls? Of course not. What, you think I want to die? Oh, okay, Georgie. I think I've got a way to make you tell us what we want to know. <clears throat> well, hey, oh, hey, let go of me. Bingo, if you want to get your man back, kiss George. Hey, no, hey, no, not that, not that. Shut up. 
Ah. Now, who's the investment? Come on. I say it. Nick, let me kiss him. Oh, go on, darling. I'll hold his arms. Hey, steady there now, Georgie. Hey, another one. Hey, what's going to happen to me? Something dire, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, God, I can't bear it. I can't stand it. Well, then, come on. Talk. No. Let's kiss him together, Nora. That'll crack him. Oh, together? Oh, this is the end. You win, Nick. All right, then, Nick. Is Jane the investment? Yes. Uh, Snakey and I put up the money for her to buy clothes and such when she met Arthur Hornsby. We financed her whole romance. Well, no wonder I didn't win. Nobody financed me. Well, what was to be the payoff? Hey, were you planning to kill Arthur? Yeah, then Jane would get the dough and we'd all split. Well, where's Jane now? She's at our place, dear. With Arthur. What? She came in a moment after you phoned. I left them in each other's arms. Well, that's as good a way to die as any. Hey, come on. We'd better get back there. I just hope we're not too late. And now for the solution to tonight's Thin Man adventure. Are you terribly worried about me, Sugar Plum? I most certainly was, darling. What are you doing with that gun, Dewdrop? Oh, just seeing how it works. I'm never going to be without one again. Where did you get it? I packed it in my luggage. It works beautifully, dear. Just like this. Nick! <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, I live here, or have you forgotten? Say, uh, Arthur, Nora's downstairs. Uh, she's got a surprise wedding gift for you. Will you go down and help her up with it? Sure. I wonder what it could be. Oh, Jane. Hey, did you ever have your uh, wrist slapped? Not since I was a naughty little girl. Oh! No. Hey, what's the idea? Well, that's because you were a naughty big girl. <laughs> and to get the gun out of your hand. Just what are you after? A split on the take. I don't know what you're talking about. Arthur's money. I know you killed Snakey. Do you? Uh, yeah. And with this gun I've got in my hand, I can send you to the electric chair. You'd better be real nice to me, Jane. Well, that isn't so hard, Nick. Well, do we do business? Anything you say. You're cute. Hmm. Isn't that funny? I think so, too. Look, I've got a patsy for Snakey's murder. I can use them for Arthur's, too. Who? Georgie the germ. I can frame him with this gun. <laughs> Why'd you kill Snakey? Because you didn't want to split the take? Yeah, and because she was impatient and tried to scare me, like when she started shooting at the wedding today. Well, you'd better not try to double-cross me. Will you get rid of Arthur uh, when I send him back? Okay. How much do you want? Uh, 50% of the take. It's a deal. Now give me the gun. <laughs> Don't be silly, Jane. Arthur, Nora, hey, bingo. You can come out of the kitchen now. Dewdrop, how you deceived me. What is this? A trap, Janie. We heard your confession. We heard everything you said. We sneaked through the servant's entrance. You see, Arthur? She's a jerk with a heart of dirt, like I told you. I love you. If you married me, I wouldn't try to bump you off. I love you, Artie. 
All right, Nora, call the police and tell them to get the uh, oh, bridal suite ready at headquarters. Poor Arthur. I bet he'll never want to marry again. Oh, don't worry. Bingo will console him and change his mind. She's a cute trick. Oh, yeah, and she wrestles well. It's amazing that a boy like Arthur can be such a darn fool about women. Is it, dear? Oh, sure. <laughs> now, take me, for instance. The only reason you didn't make a fool of yourself with women is because you did take me. Why, no, I was always very sensible. <laughs> really? Uh, what about the fortune teller? You were going to marry her because she told you it was in the cards. Or the trapeze artist? You liked her because she raised herself to great heights. <laughs> or that college girl cheerleader who was always rooting for you? Oh, well, I was just young. <laughs> yes, and I had to get you when you were old. Well, darling, I was old enough to know what a wonderful girl I was getting. <laughs> My Nikki, that's really sweet. Oh, I think so, too. Let me say it tonight. What? <clears throat> Good night, Nora, darling. Mm -hmm.